Hey, what's cracking YouTube? It's your boy Jason Yamamoto, and today I'm going to be answering some Q&A. One of the questions I've received lately, right, is from one of my guys, and he's asked me, does clean eating even exist since If It Fits Your Macros came in into town, right? And I would like to say, yes, yes, clean eating does exist. The art of clean eating, right? You know, I look at fitness almost like a martial art, right? Everybody has their own style. You got this the clean eating style, right? And then you got the if it fits your macro style, right? Both very effective in earning your gains one more cooler than the other right you got the old school do it the hard way and then you got the new school do it the easy way but given the fact that none of it is a freebie you understand that you still gotta put work into your training you still gotta put work into your diet just because you're eating clean food doesn't necessarily mean it's also healthy eating clean food doesn't necessarily mean it's healthy see what I'm talking about because you can eat a shit ton of clean food but if once you pass your caloric uh, maintenance you start to what build gain weight right exactly but then when you start cutting those calories what happens metabolic decrease and you start to lose weight but once uh, you decrease your metabolism so much what's happening you gain weight again so you kinda it's kinda funny right same thing with if it fits your macros you meet your macronutrients requirement awesome but everybody's macronutrients are different so you can't technically necessarily say that when you do a simple equation that is my macronutrients that is mine right everybody's different so the style is you got to figure this shit out the hard way which is the final and third style the style of me okay so with that being said why i believe clean eating even exists is the fact that as an athlete as an endurance athlete certain foods do necessarily affect the mind, the body, right? And what I mean is that if I consume too much sugar, or if I consume too much sugar, that burst of energy is going to drain me. And you understand that for my performance and whatever athletic sport I'm doing. It could be running, it could be jumping, it could be basketball, it could be soccer, it could be whatever. If I consume too much sugar before my athletic event, I am going to perform like shit. This is where the art of clean eating comes from. Everybody understand this. If you're an athlete, you understand this, right? Now, if it fits your macros with athletes, would it, would it match? You know... Yeah, you know, and when it comes up to building up your physique, maybe building some muscle, maybe giving your body the required energy uh, leading up to your your training, maybe. But the problem is with if it fits your macros is that you don't track your sugars, right? A lot Lay Norton says, well, you know, science dictates that uh, sugar doesn't really necessarily mean anything, but it does mean something, man. It's extra calories. And what happens when your body uses that sugar to um, to uh, help you perform during an athletic event? Well, well, it could change. It, it, there's it's a huge uh, variable into your athletic performance. You see what I'm saying? So, am I saying staying away from a bunch of simple sugars before your athletic performance? Yeah, man, stay away from that shit. But your complex sugars, you know, from your pastas, no, man, you need that shit. You need your complex sugars, you know, to help you perform. Because that's what your body runs off of is carbs, 
right? So, um, with that being said, it is important to understand if it fits your macros and clean eating. If you could, if you could combine both of them, clean the art of clean eating and if it fits your macros, right? I invite you guys to do this. If you could, just step away. Say, you know what? It's time to step away from the art of clean eating and the art of if it fits your macros. How about I combine the two, right? Picking the right kind of foods that's going to help benefit me when it comes to performing for my performance, right? Help recover my CNS strength, my muscular uh, strength, uh, glycogen restoration, and um, all these other vitamins and micronutrients that's going to help uh, boost up my energy levels. And with the art of, you know, of if it fits your macros, beating your micronutrients and staying away from high sugary foods that could potentially fuck you up, right? And high oily foods that can make you drowsy and make you not want to do anything. So with that being said, man, if you could combine the two philosophies, right? The, these two styles, the the uh, white dragon style, the black dragon style, combine these two and make the red dragon style. Right, make your own style. You see what I'm saying? So, does clean eating exist? Yes. the The food choices that you pick will affect your performance. If you're an athlete, right? If you're a bodybuilder, hey man, if it fits your macros, has an it's still fairly brand new style of dieting. It is. So, no one actually knows. The actual harmful effects of the future. If you eat a shit ton of sugar, we all know that's gonna fuck up your teeth, right? So if it fucks up your teeth, sugar, right? I'm pretty sure it fucks a lot of other shit up inside your body system. I'm just saying. It's common fucking sense, right? So pick healthier foods if you're doing if it fits your macros. Don't fucking just because, oh, it fits my macros, I can eat fucking Pop Tarts. So with that being said, guys. It's your boy Jason Yamamoto. Check out both of these styles, combine them, and maybe it may be the best version. And you guys will come up with this new style of dieting. Clean eating if it fits your macros. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Nice. 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 Nice.